South Sudan now. And former mining minister Taban Dengai has been sworn in as the first vice president. He is replacing Riek Mashar after President Salva Kiir officially relieved him of the position. Dengai is a key member of the opposition SPLM in opposition party. He was instrumental in negotiating the peace deal that ended the civil war between Salva Kiir and Riek Mashar. The president had threatened to replace Riek Mashar if he failed to return to the capital Juba. He left the city following clashes that left hundreds dead. There are concerns that Riek Mashar's sacking could once again threaten the peace deal between the two sides. We want to move on the implementation of the peace agreement. And to do that, uh, we must prevent any escalation of any conflict again in the Republic of South Sudan. <laughs> and we should continue to, to appeal to Dr. Yegmacha to come back so that he comes and uh, join us in the implementation of the agreement. Would like to reiterate that the agreement must be implemented. And in order to implement this agreement, the Tigono should continue to work in the country. That General Taban Dengai takes over the chairmanship and commander-in-chief of SPLM SPLIO in the absence of Dr. Riyak Machar. Well, let's get to uh, the details on those developments in South Sudan. And I'm joined on the line by CCTV's Patrick Oyet. He's joining me from Juba. Patrick, what's the latest now from Juba? And how exactly was the swearing-in of Taban Deng as vice president of South Sudan? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Kaban Dengai has been sworn in as South Sudan's first vice president at about 11 a.m. local time. This followed a meeting between opposition members in Juba yesterday with President Salva Kiir. The opposition during the meeting presented the name of Kaban Dengai as their candidate for the position of the first vice president in the absence of Yet Machar. And the president, upon accepting the uh, issue, uh, therefore, went ahead and uh, issued a decree yesterday relieving Yet Machar and appointing Taban Dengai as first vice president, and he is now on in. So that is exactly what happened with the issue of swearing in. He is now a full uh, first vice president in the absence of Riyad Machar. Well, Patrick, Riek Machar had been opposed uh, to that appointment of uh, Taban Dengai as vice president. So how is the replacement, though, of Riek Machar as vice president likely to impact the implementation of the peace process? Yes, uh, definitely this is going to impact the implementation of the peace process. Of course, the government and the president, uh, President Salva Kiir, has said they would like to move the process forward. They said they cannot allow the peace uh, implementation to be held hostage by one person that is Jeff Machar. They have to move forward. But now the question in everybody's mind here in South Sudan is the reaction of Riyak Machar himself. How will Riyak Machar react? Because the problem here is that Riyak has been quiet. Yes, there have been uh, people speaking on his behalf. His spokespersons have been talking and saying he has fired Taban and a lot of other things. But Riyak himself is not talking. And that is why people are so worried. People are thinking, in case Riyak really comes back, and his condition for coming back is that he wants the, uh, the, the AU force or the regional uh, force to be deployed in, in Juba, and yet the government is saying the regional force will not be deployed. They are rejecting that proposal. And now the, the, the question people are asking is, if Riyak doesn't come back, then what will happen? Maybe people are fearing that maybe this will make even Riyak to fight more, and that means in implementation of this peace agreement will not help them, they will not see peace. But then there is another school of thought also. There are those who think that maybe, because the government is proposing that the only sport, which is in South Sudan, United Nations position in South Sudan, which is 12,500 uh, troops, that they should actually get some troops from among those ones to protect Riyadh, 
and to provide buffer zone if we want buffer zone. And then we have, if we have come, according to these key members here, including Saban Bengai, he says when we have come, he will leave the position of first vice president to Riyad Mahjah. In case Riyad himself, himself comes out, he accepts uh, to, to take back his position. And maybe there's an arrangement of uh, a third force or from him as the government is suggesting. Riyad comes back, he takes up his position. Maybe the implementation of the peace agreement will be smooth. But the problem will be if he doesn't come back and he continues to fight, then that means the implementation of the peace agreement will still not be smooth. That is exactly how the situation is here now. Uh, Patrick, uh, a final question there for you, though. Where exactly is uh, Riek Mashar? Where, do, what do we know about his whereabouts? And is the appointment of the Vice President uh, Taban Dengai, is the SPLM in opposition united in that appointment? This is the question now. The SPLM in opposition, the two is in Juma here say they are united, they are met. They have their deputy chair, that is the deputy to Riyad Machar, who is Alfred Ladugore. He is currently the Minister of Interior. He was there when uh, when Riyad was being replaced by Saban. He said that whenever uh, Riyad comes back, definitely Riyad will take back his position. But many people were also asking that, okay, if at all really this process is a good process, why is it that he as a deputy, that is General Ladugore, why did he take up the position? And their answer has been that, because they are divided positions according to region. They say President Salva Siri is from Greater Barbazal, and then Juanita, who is the vice president, is from Greater Equatoria, and then uh, they needed somebody from Greater Upper Nile to be also in that presidency. That's why it's abandoned Kenya. But then when you hear the spokesperson of Riyadh uh, speak, he speaks and say Saban has been fired. So there is, a, there is another voice which indicates that there is division within uh, the opposition. And in case this division is really there, then the problem is going to be who is uh, having a bigger portion of the opposition. If Riyadh has a bigger portion of the opposition, then that becomes a big challenge for the for, for, for South Sudan for the implementation of the peace agreement. But if at all there is division and Taban has a bigger portion, then that means uh, maybe Riyadh will be uh, somehow pressured to come and join the bigger, the bigger portion which is in the government. Uh, Patrick, oh yeah, joining us there on the line from Juba.